question if you have kidney disease and your goal is to improve your kidney health what is the best fat source you can find maybe fat from avocado a nutrient powerhouse or maybe olive oil or the omega-3s you can get from salmon or the unsaturated fats in flaxseed or maybe almond do you know which one of these foods is the best and the most essential in a renal diet? Answer down in comment section. Catherine here. When it comes to the renal diet or any other diet, there are only three essential macronutrients. Carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Macronutrients are nutrients that your body needs in large amounts to, well, to be alive. And while proteins and carbs capture most of our attention, fats frequently find themselves in the background of dietary strategies. But that's a mistake. Fats are essential, as I was saying, and people can't live without them. Fats are key for hormone production, cell growth, energy storage, and absorption of vitamins. For those following a renal diet, fats are even more important because we need to limit protein intake often without reducing caloric intake. And that cannot be done without enough fat intake. So let's focus on this new trend today and let's see which one of these fat sources is the best in a renal diet. Because while many of the foods you see on the left of your screen are great for a renal diet, only one of these is constantly being recommended by renal dietitians all around the world and for good reasons. Only one of these is a must in a renal diet. So we have avocado, olive oil, salmon, flaxseed, almond. Which one comes on top and why? If you think you know the answer at any point, write it down in comment section. So let's break this down and find the answer, starting with the avocado. Is eating avocados a must in a renal diet? The avocado is super healthy, no doubt about it. And it's also super tasty. Avocados are rich in vitamin C, E, K, and B6, as well as riboflavin, niacin, folate, pantothenic acid, and magnesium. They truly are nutrition powerhouses. Avocados are also rich in various antioxidants that have powerful kidney protecting benefits. It's also one of the few fruits that are also good fat sources and this comes with several benefits. First of all, because it's less caloric dense than any of the other foods in this list, which is great for people with diabetes and for those that need to lose weight. So, do we have a winner already? Well, no, I don't think so. You see, the avocado comes with a big wait, issue. Wait, wait. What? This fruit is less caloric dense than the other entries of this video, meaning that you will need to eat a lot of avocados during the day to get enough fat. That will not just be expensive, but for some patients, it will be also dangerous. You see, the avocado is super rich in potassium, and while the recommendation of avoiding all potassium-rich foods is a thing of the past, in the renal diet, you still don't want to overdo it, all right? You want to get your potassium from as many different sources as possible. Potatoes, tomatoes, citrus fruits, bananas. You would really renounce all that just to eat three or four avocados per day? Doesn't seem smart. Also, some patients still need to limit potassium intake today, at least until their doctor treats the real cause of the problem and they can't have any avocado at all. So this is not the answer. Up next, a very strong contender, one of the foods with the strongest anti-inflammatory properties out there. Olive oil. Okay, this may be it. Olive oil, especially extra virgin olive oil, is probably the healthiest thing in the world you can add to your salad. It's maybe even healthier than the veggies themselves, and I'm not exaggerating. Extra virgin olive oil is the best friend of your heart, cardiovascular system, and kidneys. It's pure healthy fats, mainly monounsaturated fats as well. The predominant fatty acid in olive oil is a monounsaturated fat called oleic acid and it has some pretty amazing peculiarities. 
Just two tablespoons a day of extra virgin olive oil have shown to improve HDL cholesterol levels in recent studies and to help with insulin sensitivity. And that's not all. Research also found out that a daily dose of 50 grams or 4 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil has 10% of the pain relief effect of a daily dose of ibuprofen. I mean, that's amazing! This oil is so powerful at fighting the inflammation, it is actually considered the main reason why the Mediterranean diet is so good for you. And look, a lot of people will tell you that this one is essential in your diet and they are not wrong. Especially if you need to add calories to your diet, adding extra virgin olive oil is one of the safest options. This is incredibly calorie dense and super healthy. Someone who is maybe in stage 4 and struggles to keep their weight on can really benefit from this food. But it's not our winner for today, why you may ask. Well, olive oil also comes with huge danger. It is maybe the most faked food in the world. And the price of olive oil literally skyrocketed in the last few years, making the practice of faking it extremely widespread. But for every criminal getting caught, there are maybe another 10 out there still scamming people. And this is a serious problem at the point that some people I know from my small town in Italy only use olive oil they can buy from an oil mill near them. That's the only way they can be sure no one is adding any lamp fuel oil to their olive oil. And I mean, we have this problem in Italy when protecting the production of typical foods is really root in the culture. I can only imagine how bad it can be in the other parts of the world. So yeah, this is not it. I still recommend adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to your diet as long as you can afford it and you are sure you are not getting scammed. Okay guys, only three entries remaining. If you think you know which one is the winner, write it down in comment section. And maybe our winner is the next entry, which is also a source of omega-3 fatty acids. Is salmon the winner then? Salmon is considered healthy because it's a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. And this is an essential nutrient that has incredible benefits for the kidney. Supplementing this nutrient is linked to lower risk of proteinuria and this is extremely important because it also means that the progression of kidney disease is going to be much slower, which is another documented benefit of omega-3 supplementation. As we can see, omega-3 fatty acid supplementation is associated with a significantly reduced risk of end-stage renal disease and delays the progression of this disease. So is salmon the winner then? Nope, not at all. Salmon is in fact the only food in this list that can actually damage your kidneys. Look, it's true that salmon contains omega-3s but the amount of protein and phosphorus you will get by eating this food will do a huge amount of damage to your kidneys. And it's not something the omega-3s will be able to compensate for, not even close. This is why all the studies that link omega-3s to improve kidney health were done with supplements. As we can see, omega-3 fatty acid supplementation is what delays CKD progression. Not salmon. Look, the only good thing about salmon in the renal diet is that you can use it to tell who is trying to deceive you. Some people on YouTube and other social medias will tell you to eat salmon and if you are watching a YouTube video and they start talking about how good salmon is for your kidneys, well, they are lying and probably everything else they say is also worthless. So yeah, there is at least one good thing about salmon in the renal diet. Okay guys, we are going to see the winner now. So what we have left is flaxseed and almond. And both these foods are healthy. Both have significant benefits. Both can be part of a renal diet. But which one is going to win and why? 
Well, almonds are great for you. They have been associated with lower risk of chronic diseases, including type 2 diabetes and heart disease. This is attributed to their healthy monounsaturated fats, fiber, and antioxidants. And almonds are also an excellent source of magnesium, providing 19% of your daily needs in only one ounce, which is amazing because magnesium is one of those essential minerals CKD patients are very often deficient in. And if you follow me here regularly, you probably already know about the huge importance of magnesium for people with kidney disease. Having low magnesium levels is linked to a long list of issues, including high blood pressure and insomnia. So almond is a super healthy snack that's also a great fat source. Let's see how can the humble flaxseed compare to this. If we look at the nutrition facts for flaxseed, we can see that this small seed is a nutritional powerhouse. This seed is even higher in magnesium than almonds. It's also a decent source of selenium, a key mineral for kidney health. Flaxseed also contains vitamin B6, iron, and vitamin B1 in significant amounts. Other benefits this seed can offer is the omega-3 fatty acid content that not many plant-based foods can offer. And I can't forget to mention the dietary fiber. Flaxseed is also a decent source of soluble fiber which binds with cholesterol and other toxins in the intestine and prevents them from being absorbed. Now, both almonds and flaxseed do contain some phosphorus and some protein. The amount of these food items you eat must be thoroughly evaluated before you add them to your diet. This is why there is only one winner in this video. The food that is really a must in the renal diet from this list is flaxseed. But guys, this is not all. There is a reason why flaxseed is considered the best fat source out there for people with CKD. Flaxseed has amazing anti-inflammatory properties that can actually make a difference with the inflammation many patients are suffering from. And there are studies proving that eating flaxseed regularly protects the kidneys, especially in those with inflammatory kidney disease. Flaxseed can even improve the GFR of patients in some cases. This is why flaxseed is one of the most recommended foods for people with kidney disease. And let's talk about flaxseed and diabetes. In an eight-week study in 57 people with type 2 diabetes, those who consume one ounce or 30 grams of flax seeds per day experience significant reductions in HbA1c compared with those who didn't. So we are talking about the superfood that not only reduces inflammation in the body, but that also fights diabetes, the number one cause of kidney failure in the world. Absolutely add this superfood to your smoothies or use flax meal if you want to protect your kidneys. Okay guys, if you also want to know which food is the best protein source, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.